In this experiment we're going to have a look at the combustion of a hydrocarbon. Here we have a candle which is made from wax, a hydrocarbon containing carbon and hydrogen only, and when we burn it the fumes from this are collected by this funnel and they move to through a U-tube which contains cobalt chloride. Cobalt chloride turns from blue to pink only in the presence of water. It's in a bucket of ice water to try and make sure the water condenses. And then the fumes go on into another bottle containing lime water. As this bubbles through the lime water, so the lime water turns cloudy, showing that carbon dioxide gas is present. We start off with a candle and this has over it a funnel which is connected by a tube to a U-tube. Let's put a bung in there and there. This we can stand inside of a beaker and this beaker contains some ice and some water that's going to make this really quite cold and in here we're going to place a piece of cobalt chloride paper. The cobalt chloride paper initially is blue and if any water condenses onto it then it will turn pink. From here we're going to take this into another bottle and that's going out to a pump which is going to suck the air through and in here we've got some lime water the lime water is a test for carbon dioxide so let's look what happens the flame burns producing water and carbon dioxide. This mixture goes up through the tube because it's sucked up and in here. The water condenses turning the cobalt chloride paper pink and as the bubbles go through then the lime water turns cloudy. So this indicates that we've got in here some water produced and in here we've got a test for carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is produced. Right, so we're going to keep an eye on the blue paper in a minute and we're going to keep an eye on the lime water. Right, so let's now light the candle. So if you do that, 
Bonners light the candle. We'll look at the blue paper. Let's light the candle. Pull the lid down a little bit. Unscrew the front, that's it. Not too low, not too high. Got to let air in. Right, that looks good. So the candle's burning. Now we can look at the cobalt chloride paper. Let's see what that's doing. That's changing colour. And we'll look at the lime water and see what that's doing. So I can see the lime water starting to turn cloudy and see if we get any water detected in the by the blue cobalt chloro paper. It's not as doing as well as before simply because I managed to get the last one a little bit lower but the carbon dioxide definitely we've got and this blue it's turning very slowly. I can see at the bottom it's turned slightly pink. And we'll get some sort of water hopefully condensing in there as the flame burns. Let's pull it up just a little bit just to make the flame just a bit bigger. Flame's got a bit, yeah, bit, bit, that's it. So that's encouraging more. Yeah, and I can see now the blue of this cobalt chloride is start, edge is starting to go pink as it's starting to detect again more water. But the, the lime water definitely gone cloudy here. And that blue cobalt chloride paper is going gradually pinker and pinker and pinker. So it's showing the combustion products of a candle are carbon dioxide and oxygen. No, not oxygen. What are we testing for? What's the blue cobalt chloride paper testing for? Water. Water. So we've got water and carbon dioxide. 